And here it is. The greatest advance in television since color television. And never... I'm sexy and I know it. I'm Sean Hale. And I'm Brenda Mulchum. And, and this, this is the, the first, first episode of this year's BGTV. BGTV is a show where we tell you what's going on around the school. Speaking of new beginnings, tonight is the first home football game. <laughs> Let us not forget who gave us the ultimate new beginning, God. Please stand for the prayer and pledge. Remember, we are in God's holy presence. In the name of the Father, Father and, and of the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, it's time for me to forget the past, forget the mistakes, and focus on what you are doing in my life today. I know you are doing a new thing. You are closing old doors and preparing me for new opportunities. The process can be uncomfortable and painful, but I know it's for my good. I trust you. In Jesus' name we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you ready for the best fight ever, Mr. Corbin? Because BGTV is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one! Rocking the vibe song, it's new blue and orange, climbing up the OG Tower. Night at a table is not gonna work. We're giving a dead cat a shower. Lord, every class with prayer, our will go as his heart. Rocking out with teachers and dance. Always go one way, BGCB Friday. Try to look good in those pants. It's true, constantly be the best day ever. Welcome back. From already watching two minutes of our show, you can tell that we are trying to change up a bit. From our new intro to... To having new anchors. Oh yeah, that too. Gorn packs a lot of talent in multiple areas, even musically. Erica Yerger has more with Every Gale Has a Story. Hey, Fisher Gorman. I'm Eric Yerger, and I'm back for Every Gale Has a Story. As you heard last year, I have a list of every kid currently attending Gorman, and I'm going to throw the dart at the board and pick one of our students. Let's see who we're going to pick this week. Well, Fisher Gorman, it looks like this week's feature gale is Brandon Parks. This student, who is a junior, puts a lot of time into completing his homework during gales because after the school day, he becomes pretty busy doing one other thing, practicing with his band. Brandon and his other two band members, Ethan and Kyle, have been playing together for the past two years. I met uh, Brandon and Ethan through um, a guitar class, and then so uh, we were hanging out. We were like, hey, you play guitar and bass, I play drums, let's, let's come up with band. These three students have been involved with music their whole life, which might have helped lead them to creating their own band. Our band's name is Swim to Paris. I started a band because I love music, and I like playing on stage in front of people. I've been into music my entire life. It's always been something that's important to me, so I just wanted to pursue that. Swim to Paris doesn't just play gigs for their own benefit. They also volunteer for a cancer awareness charity called Relay for Life, where they play each year at UNLV for the Rebel Relay. But there has been some challenges with their performances. Well, one time at a gig, it was last year for our Relay for Life show, we got ready and got all the way set up, and we're all about to play, and then it just started raining and we sat there for like three hours waiting for the rain to stop, and then we just didn't, so we left. Well, Bishop Gorman, how do you rock your story? I'm Eric Yerger, reporting for BGTV. With the excitement of our first BGTV show and home football game of the year, it's still important to remember those less fortunate. Our very own theater guild is producing a play on the sorrowful story of Anne Frank. 
Although this theater might seem empty, Bishop Gorman students are hard at work reviving a story forged long in the past and working even harder to teach its many lessons to us all. Lights, camera, action is usually a saying reserved for BG TV, but now it will be used to create a performance that will make its own history here at Bishop Gorman. The story is Anne Frank. What's so good about this show and the reason I wanted to be a part of it is because it's such a true story about this family that went through such a huge struggle and to be able to get a glimpse into the actual tragedy that they went through, the actual struggle, it's just such an eye-opening experience and it's one that I think everyone should have a chance to be a part of. She was a very hopeful young lady and she didn't let the walls of her environment kill her spirit. So she was a child of hope and great forgiveness and great understanding and she really believed that everyone was good at heart even these horrific people that they just were misguided although this performance might seem far off i'm sure it'll be worth the wait i'm hunter mans reporting for bg tv dylan bruton is back on bg tv to tell you about our upcoming new fall sports dylan what it do, BG? Dylan Bruton back in action. It's been a while since we last saw each other, but it feels so good to be home. Let's talk about your Gorman sports, though, for real. Last weekend, our now number one ranked Gorman Gales varsity football team traveled all the way down to Dallas, Texas to play the Cedar Hill Longhorns. 44-14 was the final score. Tate Martell and Biagio Ali Walsh combined for 342 rushing yards and six rushing touchdowns. Texas might think they only game of football, but Vegas definitely had a lot to say about those claims. Their next game is tonight at 7 p.m. Here at your very own Fertitta Field against number 20 ranked Coco coming in from Florida. Come out and support your Gales as they hope to continue their undefeated winning streak since 2013. Recently kicking it off, our men's soccer team sadly lost their first game against Desert Pines, yet rebounded with a 5-1 domination of Liberty on Wednesday. Good work, fellas. Our women's soccer team is like every Tupac album ever made. Fire. <laughs> at 7 and off, they're dominating every team in the Howell Memorial Tournament and Desert Pines 10-1. Let's roll the highlights. Arlie Jones jukes past several defenders and all, gets all the way down to get a shot. Jensen Garcia gets back to defend the goal. She's not letting anybody get in. Hannah Borgale plays a direct ball to Arlie Jones' feet. Jaden Tarana crosses her defender and attempts a shot. Oh, I might have went too quick. All right, there she is. Jaden Tarana crosses her defender and attempts the shot. Arlie Jones passes to Taven Hayes, allowing her to have a clean finish in the net. The Gorman Gales end the game 5-2. I hate to sound like a hype beast and all, but I have a good feeling about this team, man, for real. Our women's volleyball team served their first match on Tuesday against Shadow Ridge, losing. However, today and tomorrow they play in the Clovis East Invitational. Good luck, ladies. Our men's and women's team, oh, our men's and women's tennis team both put the hurt on Faith Lutheran. They both played Sierra Vista on Tuesday, though, with the boys crushing them 15-3 and the girls blowing them out 16-2. Their first home game is today against Spring Valley at 3 o'clock. Wish them prosperity. Finally, running ahead of all other track sports, cross-country season has begun with their first meet Wednesday, where they took third against Palo Verde, Shadow Ridge, Legacy, and Bonanza. Run hard or don't run at all. That wraps up basically everything for your Gorman sports. And I know it's been a while, but if you don't know, now you know. Gorman, y'all better keep it chill. The right way to have a good show is to start and end with our very own Sean Hale, this time giving you tips on how to look your best at a Gorman football game with Erica Yerger. Have you ever gone to one of our football games and we're winning by 64 and you're thinking to yourself, what am I even doing here? Well, you're there to look good and we're going to teach you how. Welcome to How To Workshop. Oh. Now, the first step is to figure out what you're going to wear. Now, you want to be as original as possible. So if you're already thinking blue and orange, you're right on it. Now, I like to add an extra element of originality by painting my shirts. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Now, well, that's dry. The second step you want to do is style your hair, because even though your outfit might make the other team cringe, you really want to make them uncomfortable. Now, some people like to use one can, but my hair is thick with two C's, so I need to use eight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And this is what we do. What we do. Yeah.
we sign off, another new thing about this year's program is your ability to contact us through Twitter, at Fisher Gorman TV. You might even have a chance to be on BGTV yourself. I'm Bryn Walsh. And I'm William Riley. And, and this, this is, is your BGTV. BGTV.